I was going to be busy all day. I had to get across town by 10 to meet the clients from Caseworks. I had to visit the Hammertech shop to check out the raw materials for the 6x10 pre-wired console rack. And then I had to make it back to the office in time for the boss's 10th, 39th birthday party. What I didn't have time to do was run the upteen simulations for the APM 3000 game console line. Luckily, I was trying out a new tool from Autodesk that I had signed up for a day earlier. Something called Autodesk Simulation 360, and I've been told it would allow me to run several concurrent simulations in the cloud. It's usually not a good idea to try out something new like this on game day, but my time was crunched and I didn't have the luxury of a trial run. So I loaded up my specs for some flow and thermal simulations, catapulted them into the cloud, and headed out to get the contract signed at Caseworks with my fingers crossed. Too many wasted minutes stuck at a train crossing, I finally arrived at Caseworks with mere minutes to spare. But of course the clients were running late, so I took the moment to use Simulation 360's mobile capabilities. To my surprise, all five projects were nearly complete. This day was shaping up better than I thought it might. I got the contract signed without too much hoo-ha. So I found myself with an unforeseen window to make it back to the office to analyze the results and see what else had been heaped on my plate before having to head back to meet with the foreman at the hammer tech shop. The word must have gotten out on what Simulation 360 can do because the team added more jobs for me to run. Oh, come on! On a day that was already filled to capacity. It was time to see just how much the cloud could hold. So I retrieved the results from my earlier sims and got to work analyzing the data. I got all the stats reconfigured and re-entered into Simulation 360, and thanks to cloud processing, was able to rerun my original simulations while adding the new ones to all run at once, while I hightailed it to the Hammertech shop to talk to Joe and his boys about turn time and material usage for the console rack. I also saw a helicopter. Thankfully, I got to the Hammertech shop without incident. Before I left, I showed Joe the highlights of all I was able to get done with Simulation 360 that day. How intuitive it is. How many different kinds of simulations I could run at the same time. How it kept my machine free for other tasks. That it was secure, affordable, and just freaking cool. Joe was stoked too. He's a big fan of cloud computing. And then it was back to the office, and looking like I was going to get everything done in time for the boss's birthday party, with a heaping helping of overachievement. Or so I thought. No! What the what? Even with Simulation 360 taking on the brunt of the workload, I was going to be hard-pressed to be done in time for the party. But luckily, with all the simulations running in the cloud, my computer would be free for me to finish up the day's paperwork, scan and email the caseworks contracts, and maybe even have a spare minute to check my Facebook page. It was a crazy day, I gotta be honest. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Appointments all over town, sure, that happens. A week's worth of simulations to run in a day? No, that rarely happens. But when it does, you know you're never gonna get it done in time. Yet somehow, somehow I was able to get it all done. With the time I saved with Simulation 360, I found myself caught up for the first time in a while. It felt good not to take work home for once. Maybe I could take a couple of days off, enjoy my first real vacation in son of a... No, you know what? I can get it done tomorrow, with time to spare.